So it's been a week, no vlog, and you're probably wondering what's the deal. Well, let me explain. Hello, my old heart. How have you been? Are you still there inside my chest? So I feel like I'm a pretty positive person, and my outlook on life is it's too short to worry about things that you can't control. You have to maintain a positive attitude, surround yourself with positive people, and let all the negatives and all the outside noise just fall by the wayside. And that's how I live my life. But this week has just been so incredibly taxing, and it just, I, I mean, look, I haven't shaved at all this week. That's, and I hate not shaving, I hate not feeling clean shaved and fresh and rejuvenated but it's the kind of week I'm having so I mentioned in the last vlog Lindsay and I are officially looking for a house and that's been awesome I'm excited we we enjoy going to look at houses it's just an exciting time in our life but it's also a little frustrating because we know what we're looking for we know what we want and we'll find places that check seven of the ten boxes but we don't want to settle we don't want to just do it to do it so that's been tough then you have work and the positive for work is it's going really well this year the procedures we're doing the physicians that are interested in treating AFib it's just been outstanding and you'd say well then what's the problem well then there's external forces with work that just make the job so difficult things that you have to deal with that don't aren't really what the job's made up of but it comes with the gig it's just those things make the job hard and dis distract you from really what you need to be focusing on and that's working with physicians and treating patients. So, so that's been tough. And then the thing that I think's affected the vlog the most and that's the uh, download and use of Premiere Pro. I like it, I like it a lot and I'm gonna talk more about it in a second but because it's so brand new to me, it's made editing difficult. I've shot a couple things that I've played around with editing wise. They haven't made it onto the vlog which in turn caused me to skip days just because they weren't that great and I'm still figuring out how the software works but let, let's talk more about Premiere Pro. So what do you think? I got my hair cut and I've done this take a couple times and realize every time I say haircut the eyebrows go up. Try it again. I got my hair cut, I shaved. So I wanna end this vlog and I wanna start the week fresh. I'm pushing all of those negative vibes aside and we're starting anew. But let's talk about Premiere Pro. And before I do, you dig in the Premiere Pro light effects? Pretty good, pretty good. So I was using Final Cut, as you might have known if you watched the other vlogs. And I love Final Cut, I'm a huge Apple fanboy. I don't wanna say Final Cut was easy because I have no background in editing, so there was a learning curve just learning Final Cut as a program, but I felt like the UI made sense. Anything you wanted to do, color correction, audio, transitions, the buttons were there, they all made sense, they were all where they were supposed to be, and it was easy to figure out. On top of that, because Final Cut is an Apple product. The, tran the export from your computer to YouTube was super quick. And if you watch some of the big YouTubers, MKBHD, Casey Neistat, um, a ton of them, a bunch of them still use Final Cut, one, because they know it, and two, because the export times are so quick. And that was fearful for me when I started looking at Premiere because I don't wanna be up all night because I'm up late as it is trying to do these videos because they take me forever. But over the past week, I haven't uploaded anything because I've been making videos kind of playing around with the interface and it's a monster. It's taken me a week to figure out where things are. It doesn't work like Final Cut where things are where that you think they should be. There's a lot more digging, but as you start to look into it and as you start to get comfortable with it, while yes, they're not easy to find and they don't always make sense, there, <laughs> there is so much more there. There's so much more depth to 
Premiere than there is to Final Cut. And maybe I haven't explored Final Cut how I should, but when you go into transitions in Final Cut, there's a handful of options there. And you can do things like keyframes, but it's very straightforward and it's very basic. When you go into transitions in Premiere, there's just so much there. And when you start to dig down into keyframes, there is so much you can do with keyframes. And, and then under keyframes, there's a sub set of things you can do with scale. It's just, and I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure you can do the same things with Final Cut. But Apple works so hard to keep it very simple and very straightforward and very user friendly that I think some things get lost and some things get hidden whereas Premiere doesn't hide the fact that it's robust and there's a lot there and when you click on one menu and 10 sub menus pick up or pop up with different things you can do and different attributes you can apply it's just it's very overwhelming at first the this first week I was like there's no way I'm not using this I can't figure it out but I stuck with it and because there, and this is the key for me with Premiere, there is so much on YouTube in terms of tutorials. So many more people seem to use Premiere that there's so much there. If you get stuck, you can go into YouTube, you can pull up a tutorial for something and it just, it makes sense. On top of that, it seems like Premiere is rolling out new features a little bit more frequently than Final Cut is. So. I feel like Final Cut is making progress and this year I think the big thing for me with Final Cut was the color correction stuff they have there. They have so much more in terms of color correction whereas before you had to use a lot of LUTs and just different things. But Premiere's had that and now Premiere has this matching feature I'm using. They now have this audio feature where you can, you can duck the music to the background so it knows when you're talking and you're doing a vlog essentially and when the music should get quiet so it's not too loud over the the audio it's there is so much there i i was frustrated for the first half of the week and as the week has gone on i've gotten a little bit more comfortable i'm nowhere near where i need to be but I, I'm enjoying it. I've got six more days. This is only my second vlog that I've posted with Premiere. Please let me know what you think compared to my other videos. Um, I'm hopefully going to get two more in before time expires and then I have to decide am I going to subscribe, am I not going to subscribe. Um, there's still a lot. I haven't even dove into After Effects. It came with After Effects. I haven't used that at all. I don't know what that is and how how it's applied. I, I know it ha it's like motion, uh, Apple's version is motion, I know it's like that, but it's just super confusing. So I'm learning. I appreciate you bearing with me and not jumping ship since I haven't posted as I normally like to and want to. Um, but this week, as I mentioned, was crazy. So we're gonna end it here. We're gonna kinda end it where I began, so 